Howdy folks, Jacob out here at the Paulette farm. I just thought we'd do a slide update. It's been a little while since we've made a video. Um, we've gotten real busy doing four farmers markets a week now. On top of, my had a slight heat stroke a few weeks back at one of the markets. So that's kind of slowed me down a bit. But good news, we've got piglets today. So I think in our last video we talked about, we thought we were just a few weeks out from piglets. And it turned out that the girls that we thought were bred were not. Um, I think our old boy Jimmy just wasn't getting the job done anymore. Plus, he had some behavioral issues. He he busted through. Let's see, what was it two gates, two fences, and an electric fence to pick a fight with Straw? Because Straw dared to have a girl of his own. And busted a fence post. Yeah, and broke the corner post in my corral that I've got to fix still. Plus a lot of other things. So sadly, Jimmy is no longer with us. Well, he's no longer a, a breeding animal on the farm. He might be in the freezer now. Um, but other than that, Big Mama has had her babies. Um, so she had them early this morning. I think she had a total of seven, it looked like. So we'll go out and look at them here in a minute. And then Empanada, our, our uh, guilt that we have that was in with straw as well, she should be due probably no more than two weeks at this point. She's turning into a little piggy pancake. So I'll try to get a shot of her here in a minute when we go out and look at them. Um, but so we should have... Probably, I don't know how many MP is going to have, but if Big Mama has had seven, you know, guinea hogs tend to be in that kind of six to eight piglet range. So we'll probably be over a dozen piglets here in just a little bit. So we'll go out and take a look at them and then uh, kind of go over just what's been going on. Um, if you're paying attention to the news, you know, here in South Central Missouri, we've been under very dry conditions again this summer. And we're not quite as bad as we were last summer just yet, but uh, I know they've been calling for rain this next week. and we could use it so all right well let's go out and look at the pigs and let you see the cute little piglets running around Aw, are you proud daddy? Hi, sweet papers. Hi, uh. papers. Oh, goodness. Little lot wobbly legs. Straw, is that all your babies? Are you watching them while mama's getting a drink? Well, here comes big mama. It's the first time she's been out since early this morning. <laughs> she's been stuck on her side for hours, so I imagine she's got a few scratchy spots. She just visited the girls and got hosed off. Yeah. <laughs> well, here, while she's taking care of that, I'll pull back out. I'm going to pan over here. <laughs> so, Kaylin and Annalise are hosing the pen down and hosing Empy off because Empy's next. Let's see if we can get a good shot of Empy. Give you guys an update. Where is Empy? Oh. 
So way over there, it might be hard to see her. Empy is laying down. She's kind of got kicked out with all the, the babies. But she should be having piglets here in about two weeks. <laughs> Apparently Big Mama still has some itchy spots. And we were wondering if she was ever going to have her piglets. She's been bagging up for... Like a week and a half? Yeah, almost two weeks. And the baby's been working on her all day and she still has a pretty big you know, milk rail going on. There's all seven of the babies. And this is Big Mama's second litter. She had her first litter last year. And this is Straw's first litter. This is his first time daddy and he's been doing a very good job babysitting. Every time I came out here today to, te to check on Big Mama, he was just a couple of feet away, just laying there watching over the babies and watching over her. So we haven't got in there yet, so I don't know what all we've got gender-wise. Katie thinks there's at least two or three girls. I saw three. And we've got some with some white markings. So that would lead me to believe that Straw's got the, the recessive trait in him to have white markings. So in your guinea hogs, it takes, from what I understand, it takes having the recessive trait on both the mom and the dad's side to get, you know, to get kind of the white coloring. Sometimes it'll express as like little booties, like the one that walked by a second ago has little white forelegs. Um, we've had some born over the years that have like a white stripe or a swirl pattern to them. Um, so it's just a, just a genetic trait that you can get if both parents have the recessive gene. Here, I'll pan over here. I didn't realize Big Mom was uh, cleaning up after herself. Yeah, the old timers used to say that the pigs that had a lot of white in them were too inbred. And I think that was just because of the, the fact of it being a recessive trait. I think that's where that kind of, I don't call it an old wives tale. There's probably a little bit to it. But if, if you know your American guinea hog history, they all are pretty well inbred at this point. When you look at the number of you know viable breeding animals that there were you know, 20 years ago compared to now. So... You know, it's it's kind of interesting just to see how how the numbers have rebounded. Biggest problem anymore, at least in our area here in South Central Missouri, is there's a lot of people mixing guinea hog with cooney cooney, which is a perfectly viable mix. But if you're trying to keep, you know, a pure strain, or you know, I'm not not necessarily worried about having registered stock, but I'd like my animals to be American guinea hog. Um, makes it a little harder sometimes to find, you know, breeding animals. Oh, looks like MP's coming out. So here me back up real quick so here is empanada as you can see she is very pregnant she's turning into little pancake piggy but uh, she is just a little over a year old now I believe About 14 15 months so this this is her first pregnancy so she's a first time guilt we actually traded for her with rustic waters homestead based out of West Plains uh, one of Katie's uh, call them babies I guess one of Katie's favorite pigs sticks he didn't quite make the uh, the aggressive tryouts for our breeding boar so straw is sticks his full brother and so we ended up trading sticks as a breeder because he was our would have been our second pick um, and but you know we've got such a small herd we didn't need two breeders especially that were full brothers so we ended up trading uh, sticks for empanada and her two brothers which we've already processed at this point but I'm, I'm really curious to see what her babies look like with straw because she's got a much longer, leaner kind of, of look to her. So I'm hoping to get some of straw's thickness with her length and get some really good, and like, you know, piglets that'll grow out and finish well and have, you know, like good, good fresh cider bacon potential and stuff like that. But yeah, so she's she's been moping outside all day today. I don't know if she got kicked out of the shed or if she just decided there was too much too much commotion going on so she's been kind of hanging out here on the side of the she's been laying belly first in the wallow yeah yeah she's been belly first in the wallow and then she's been laying under the shed here all day because it gets most of the shade through most of the day so i know when i came out earlier to cool them down i sprayed under the shed just to kind of give them some some moisture and give her a place to kind of get out of the the heat a little better because you got to remember with your hogs they can't sweat so you have to give them quite a bit of shade lots of water you know, give them a little bit of a wallow or someplace they can get in and cool off. Especially right now here in, like I said, South Central Missouri, we're supposed to be getting some rain soon, but if I kind of look out over the field and stuff, we're supposed to have 
chance finally like i said some ranks we've we've been under some pretty hot temperatures and getting fairly dry out here you know i don't, I don't think they've officially bumped us up to the next level of of drought condition but we could use whatever rain the good lord seems fit to send us all right let me see if i can sneak in here by katie one more time they've all lined up oh apparently it's oh never mind i thought they were going to all be lined up eating no they're just just taking a nap you did a good job big mama but yeah so seven healthy babies no issues she didn't lose any hoping I'm a little worried with so many first timers in here a little bit worried about possible chance of you know crushing or little ones getting squished but I think there's enough room in the shed for them to kind of maneuver around like I said this isn't big mama's first time so I'm more worried about Impy and Straw. I'm hoping Big Mama kind of teaches Impy the ropes the next few weeks before her piglets show up. And like I said, Straw's been a really good daddy. He's not hardly left his spot. He's turned around a few times. Every time I come out here, he's facing a different way. But he's he's staying super close to the to the piglets. He was even in here babysitting while Big Mama was going out to get a drink and stuff. And there they go. They're all snuggling up next to Mama. All right, well, thanks for joining us, and we'll talk to you all next time. Oh, I know. I came and came over, didn't she? Oh, that scary girl came over. You don't want to share. Oh, oh which one? I was switching on earlier. Are you going to go see if daddy will share? I don't know if girls will let me switch on her for a second. You know, it's big about. Babers. It's be babers.